Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. In this video, we'll be dividing decimal numbers by whole numbers. But before we get started with this video, just a reminder, all around the world we use two different decimal separators. We use a decimal comma and we use a decimal point. So depending on where you are, you will either use a comma or a point. But because I was born and raised in South Africa, I use a decimal comma. It doesn't change any of the rules or any of the steps. The only difference is I use a comma where you may use a point. So now let's get started. So just a quick recap of the terminology. The number we'll divide is called the dividend. The number we will be dividing with is called the divisor. And the answer is called the quotient. So for finding the solution of this problem using long division, we first need to set up this sum in the correct way. So the first thing we need is our division bar. And then our dividend, the number we are going to divide, is going to go underneath the division bar. And the number we will be dividing with will go in front of the division bar. And our answer will always go at the top of the division bar. If you're not sure exactly how long division works, I will suggest you go and watch one of those videos explaining long division in depth. I will link them in the cards above and the description box below because in this video I'm going to go quickly over those steps. In this video I'm going to concentrate on the extra steps we need to take when dividing a decimal number by a whole number. So just to quickly refresh your memory, the four steps we're using in long division is how many times, multiply, subtract, and bring down. Those are the four steps we always use in long division and we're also going to use it here. And then I want you to remember that when we work with long division, we always start at the left and we work our way to the right. So I'm going to take away the answer and we'll do this one together. So the extra two steps I want you to remember when we're dividing a decimal number by a whole number, so before we start dividing, we are already going to write the comma of the answer because the comma in the answer goes exactly above the comma in the decimal number of the dividend. And the second step for the rest of this division, I want you to ignore the comma in the dividend. So now we're going to treat that as a whole number. So now we can start dividing. So the rest of this long division is what we are used to. It's normal long division. So the first question is how many times? How many times does three go into six? So how many threes can you get out of six? You can get two threes. Your next step is multiply. So now we multiply the two with the three and that is six. Now we subtract, so 6 minus 6 is 0, and now we bring the next digit down. And remember, we ignore the comma, we bring the 4 down. And now we start with our steps all over again. So how many times does 3 now go into 4? You can take one three out of four, so there's one three that can go into four, and now we multiply. One times three is three. The next step is subtract. Four minus three is one, and the last step is bring down, so we bring the next digit down. And now these four steps start all over again. So our first question, how many times does three go into 15? Three goes, 5 times into 15, now we multiply, 5 times 3 is 15, now we'll subtract, 15 minus 15 is 0, and our last step is bring down, but there's no digit left to bring down, and our long division ended with a 0, so this is where we stop. And if you don't know how to continue, when your long division does not end with a zero, 
I'm going to do an example covering that. So make sure you stay and watch that one because it's not like a normal long division sum where you just add a remainder. When we're working with decimal numbers, we're going to do it in a different way. So our answer for 6,45 divided by 3 is exactly 2,15. And now let's look at another example. Here we have 63,84 divided by 12. So remember, first your division bar and your dividend inside the bracket, your divisor in front of the bracket, and remember your four steps. But before we start dividing your two extra steps, because we are dividing a decimal number by a whole number. So the first thing, you're already going to write your comma and your answer. And the second step before we start dividing is we need to ignore the comma. And now we can start with our steps. So the first question, how many times can 12 go into 6? You cannot take 12 out of 6. So that's why we need to include the 3. So first I'm writing a 0 above the 6 because you cannot take 12 out of 6. And now I'm including the 3, the next digit. So how many times can 12 go into 63? 12 can go 5 times into 63. And then we multiply 5 times 12 is 60. Now we subtract 63 minus 60 is 3. And now we bring the next digit down. Remember, ignore the comma, bring the next digit down. And now we start with our four steps over again. So our first question, how many times can 12 go into 38? 12 can go three times into 38, and now we multiply. Three times 12 is 36. The next step is subtract. 38 minus 36 is two. And now we bring the next digit down, and that is a four. So we start again with our steps. How many times can 12 go into 24? 12 can go two times into 24. And now we multiply, two times 12 is 24. We subtract, 24 minus 24 is zero. And the last step, bring down, but there's no digit left to bring down. So this is where our long division ends because we also ended exactly with a zero. So our answer for 63,84 divided by 12 is 05,32. But I want you to notice that the zero in front of the 5,32 doesn't add value to the number, so we can just leave that zero out. And now for the last example that does not end exactly in the zero. Let's have a look at 11,63 divided by 5. So first we have our division bar and then our dividend inside of the bracket, our divisor in front, and we have our four steps, and then also our two steps before we can begin. So first we write the comma exactly above the comma in the dividend. And the second step before we start is we ignore the comma, and now we can begin. So the first step, how many times can five go into one? Five cannot go into one, so I'll just add a zero above the one, and then I will include the next digit, the other one. So now I ask myself again, how many times can five go into 11? And five can go twice into 11, and then we multiply two times five is 10. Third step, subtract 11 minus 10 is one, and now we bring the next digit down, in this case, the six. And now our steps start again. How many times can five go into 16? Three times. Now we multiply three times five is 15. Subtract 16 minus 15 is one. And we bring down the last digit, the three. And now we start again. How many times can five go into 13? Two times. We multiply two times five is 10. Subtract 13 minus 10 is 3. And now we bring the next digit down. But there's not another digit to bring down. 
and we didn't end exactly in a zero and when we are dividing a decimal number by a whole number we want to end with a zero so now this is what you do you're going to add a zero at the end of it, the dividend because when we add a zero we don't change the value of the number 11,63 and 11,630 they are exactly the same we didn't change the value so by just adding a zero we can carry on with the long division until we reach a zero at the end okay so now we bring that zero down and now we can start with our steps again how many times does 5 go into 30 6 times and now we multiply 6 times 5 is 30 we subtract 30 minus 30 is 0 and now we don't have anything else to bring down we end it with a 0 so we have our answer so our answer for 11,63 divided by 5 is 2,326 and just like in our previous example the 0 in front of the number doesn't change the value so we can ignore that zero and just like in all the other videos there's a worksheet with a memo in the description box below you can go and download it there and go and practice dividing decimal numbers by whole numbers there's a worksheet for if you work with a decimal point and a worksheet for if you work with a decimal comma and if you haven't already and this video helped you please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel and then i'll see you in my next video goodbye